Hi guys, this is Phantom Phoenix and we're back playing Grim Fandango and where we left off we just got a bunch of balloons from a guy who pulled them out of his ass so uh, that happened uh, and I, uh, I reviewed my last video because I was kind of stuck and I noticed that uh, there was a guy in this hallway who was annoyed that someone was supposedly uh, putting beer bottles in that message tubes so that should have been a hint uh, note to self when someone speaks listen carefully um, sometimes I get so immersed in the game I'm just watching like I'm watching what a movie and just waiting squeaking noise you're making new shoes just waiting for uh, something to happen like I'm not the one playing it uh, and sometimes I miss important clues like that so memo number one listen so let's see something about the message tube okay let's see what we can put in here My god, there's a bunch of these. Although the, the fact that there's unlimited of supplies, supply of those balloons might mean uh, that they are important somehow. We just have to figure out uh, how. Okay, this, this looks big, like it could cause some damage. Let's try to put that in here. That's not on fire. That's not on fire, okay. Don't tell me that we're gonna use uh, the fire extinguisher to actually put out a fire at some point. I, that would be quite an accomplishment, using an item in a point-and-click adventure game for something that it was actually meant to be used for. Wow, that could be that would be awesome. We'll just have to see. So, fire extinguisher doesn't work. Let's see what else we can put in that message tube that could cause something to happen. I don't think this is the one but where are you going what, what happened what? why did he move okay let's try to put that here no I think I don't want to mess up my blade yeah I figured so so something about this message to you is definitely the thing Cards? What would we put cards in the message tube? Deck of cards just wouldn't help there. Yep. Wait, don't go there. Can we check our computer? I don't know why, but who knows? I should close Bruno's record before the black marks burn into my screen. Okay, so do it. Well, whatever. Do we have anything else interesting in here. I couldn't play this card there. No, the guy was angry because apparently it must have broken because he was I think he was a repair man and he was angry that we were putting stuff into Well this this is far fetched but what the hell? Okay. <laughs> Look out below. Look out below. Okay. So. Uh, so did something happen? I'm not sure something happened. It, it just the bread got crushed. I don't want to talk to this guy. The bread got crushed, and I don't think that. Something happened. Let's check just for. Just for. Uh, 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 just in case. No, everything looks pretty much the same. It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the Department of Death. 
So this machine crushed the bread, which means it's kind of strong. So we need to put something really hard and strong in it in order to that wheel break it. Open it. Hmm. No, nothing we can do here. I just want to get out of here. This noise is driving me crazy. Okay, so we've exhausted all of our options, or all, all of our locations, all of our conversation options, which probably means there is something that we need to do right here with with what we've got. Okay, so I was outside. I was upstairs. There is this room, of course, and we can do something with this stuff, although when we do this, he doesn't want to take it. No thanks. That stuff smells terrible, man. Hmm. So... What can we... Basically what you need to do in situations like this is take out every single item from your inventory and use it on every single object in the game and hopefully something will click. Something will make sense. Can we use this somehow? That's not on fire. Yeah, that's not on fire. That's not yeah. on fire. We've already established. He actually wants to do something that it was meant for to do. Oh, wait a minute! Yeah! Okay, so we got that. What? What? Why did you put it in a pocket? I wanted to fill the other one. The other liquid. Select. Okay, so we got that. I don't really want to do that. Why? I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. Oh, okay. So, I guess... Um, wait a minute. So we filled the red one, now we filled the blue one. Okay. And now what? This balloon is filled with a light chemical. This balloon is filled with a dark chemical. Aha. Uh -huh. So, aha. Uh -huh. So we've seen that these chemicals combined make that foam. So we just need to figure out how to combine them. Oh no, we actually we don't. Yeah, the the machine crushed the bread. So it means it will crush the balloons. We just have to combine that balloon somehow and put them in message tube. I guess at the same time, if that's if that's possible. Okay, so get over there. Take that. And then no use for it. Um Should I first combine them before doing this? Okay, so one can we close down there? Nope, no wait, wait, I didn't want to do that. Um and now let's try to put this thing. That 
That doesn't sound good. Oh yeah, I think we actually managed to do something, right? Okay. So let me just save the game here. Uh, just in case I screw up somehow, but I don't see how that's possible, but just in case. Server's down again. What else is new? Yeah. Okay, so... Surprise, surprise! Oh, there's this guy, he's fixing it already. Well... Okay, let's try to talk to him. I think that's the other end of Domino's message tube. If I could just get in there. Okay, let's get in here. It's the wheel on the door. Okay, it's the wheel. Ah, our cheerful communications maintenance staff is on the job. Yeah, it's like the IT guy of the undead of the Hi. underworld. I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. They're actually calling it a server. Wow. Because, yeah, it serves a message. <laughs> nice. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. Yeah, you sound like an IT guy. Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. Yep, yep. Just curious, how'd you get in there? I squeezed out one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. So how long is it gonna be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Can I squeeze in there, just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. Okay, so we gotta get you out of here. What's so special about you? I, yeah. sir, am an elemental spirit, summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic what tube switchers. Purpose? No, what I was created to run the elevators, desire. but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Say, uh, chatty Cathy, I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. Ooh, okay, so now we have to think of a way oh, to... Not again! Oh, he's on fire. Oh! Ah, 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 ah. You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher! Spray that on this packing foam and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here! What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste! Okay, so was that supposed to be a hint? We have to set something on fire and maybe distract him? Um... Can we do something with this door? The wheel won't budge. Oh! The deadbolt looks like it's not set. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. Okay, that might be useful. Um... That red tube looks familiar. Okay, so... 
What's happening with the camera? He pulled out Good something like for government work. Yeah, he pulled out something of out of the tube before he left. Is he still there? No, okay, so we left this unlocked. Great, now we're in. Okay. So It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the Department of Death. As a rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. Yeah, we have already established that too. You touch yourself, you nasty pervert. That red tube looks familiar. It's locked. Okay, it's locked. Let me take it's another locked. look. Or not. That red tube looks he familiar. Pulled something out of this. That red tube looks familiar. Which looked like a card, yeah of course. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Six is hmm. one what? Too much air pressure. Too much what? What now? Oh, come on, I want the cards. Okay. Hmm. Too much air pressure. Okay, there's too much pressure, but the the number I managed to take a look at the number on there. So 661010. So maybe we're just supposed to see that. Select. Use. Put another one here. Is there something else on it? D O D. Okay, hmm. so. Too much air pressure. <clears throat> so I don't know. I don't know what use is that, man. That sound is that sound is really annoying. I can't think. Okay, so what was I saying? Mm, I don't know what we find out, found out there. Manny, Let's if you see. don't mind, I've got a lot of right. I do watch you. She Think doesn't. Think Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. He's still here, so that means we cannot use his computer. Hey, Hurl. Yeah. I want to tell good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. I don't know how any of this is related to what I want to do. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> you know, this used to be my office. Yeah, yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I think we should team up. Be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. Well, you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. I still don't know what to do. This is his tube. Wait a minute, what's this? Desk drawers? I don't have desk drawers. 
Really? That's so sad. Hey, get out of there, Calavera. He's got a lock on it. I can't believe he doesn't trust me. So, we can't do anything when while he's here. Hmm, what do we do now? Let's try something here. This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. Nothing in there, but eh, I'm going to let it air out some more. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. Okay, so... We did use a card on that thing. Now we just have to figure out what to... Uh... I couldn't play this card there. Can you put a card in here? I couldn't play this card there. I couldn't play this card there. Something has to be related to that card because the card is what we need to insert in the I machine. I couldn't play this card there. I couldn't play this card there. Man, 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 man. Did I try this? I couldn't play this card there. No, him neither. Let's try her. Maybe card tricks some other time when I'm not so busy. Man, oh man, oh man, what's... Maybe card tricks some other time when I'm not so busy. Wait, was he waving at something? Was he waving? What was he doing? Yeah, he looks. Oh, that's like a hint. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't yeah, play yeah, this yeah. card there. Manny, All what right. are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. I couldn't play this card there. Maybe card tricks some other time when I'm not so busy. Yeah, okay. I think I got it now. Yeah. So note to self number two, watch where Manny is looking. Oh god, this noise again. Oh, come on. It's like nails on a chalkboard for me, I don't know why. Wait, I need to use that card. Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah blah blah, died of chicken pox, time of death, yada yada yada. Aha, positive attributes, volunteered time reading stories to dying children. That's good. Yeah. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Yeah, man, it, that's the spirit. That's how it's done. Oh, Lies, right. Guys, are you loco? What got into you? Woo! It was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. I'm in. <laughs> what a bitching hot rod. Oh my god, it's got flames and everything! Yeah! That's awesome! Oh, that's Hurley! <laughs> Eat my dust, sucker! Buenos dias! You're not the Señorita. nurse? No? You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. 
Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No. But there's still a chance you could save me. That's wow, a lot of responsibility, romantic. Mr. Calaveda. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Okay. <clears throat> Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? <laughs> sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Oh. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. <laughs> I could watch these conversations all day long. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha! Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calaveda, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just yeah, have to was, trust was... me then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. <clears throat> so, something is fishy in the land of Denmark, or whatever the line was. Is there something on my computer about this? I just don't understand it. Why can't I find anything good for Mechi? No... Something is definitely off. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. How did she let me down? Hmm. Domino's door is locked. Funny Bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized oh. company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine! Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino! That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there, on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld, alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me!
Okay, so things didn't turn out f uh, well for us. Okay, but the plot thickens. Yeah, that's right. The thick buttons. And I, I'm just gonna take a break right here. And of course, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. You can always subscribe if you wanna see more of this coming. And if you have some suggestions, questions, or any other comments, leave a comment. Or you can tweet. There's a link to my Twitter account in the, des uh, in the description. So yeah, see you guys later. And take care.